Good morning. Today we're going to talk about header and footer. Now, the first thing I want to do when I open my blank document is add a header and a footer to my document before I start building my document. There are a couple of ways to get into your header and footer in Microsoft Word. You can double click in the area for the header and you will notice the area for the header because of the ruler. So to make sure that your ruler is turned on, you want to go to View, Ruler, and when I take it off, you'll see the screen change. When I put the ruler back on, you'll see the ruler come back up. This portion here is actually your header. Anything in this other area with the numbers is the body of your document. So I'm going to click above the body of the document. I'm going to double click above the body of the document. And that's going to enable me to turn on my header so I can modify it. You'll also notice that once the header comes on, then the information in the body of the document cannot be modified because we are modifying the header. We also note that we get a header and footer toolbar um, and this is going to be an additional tab to the tabs that you already have in Microsoft Word. In this toolbar, you have header and footer, insert, navigate, options, position, and close. You use this to close when you finish modifying your header and your footer. However, you can add different parts to your header and, foot and footer, like your date, the document information, quick parts, pictures, and online pictures. All right, so let's close this for now. I want to show you another way to get into your header and footer. The second way to get into your header and footer is to go to the Insert tab and then click on Header. Once you click on Header, you'll see that there are a host of pre-formatted headers that you can add to your document. There are even more headers and footers at more headers and footers from office.com however the first what I'm going to do is click edit header because I want to customize my own header I don't want to use the pre uh, formatted headers so right now I'm going to add the date and time to my header and I'm going to I clicked on date and time once I clicked on date and time it gives me multiple formats I'm going to click on this date and time and I'm going to have it where it will automatically update every time I change information to this document. You can also position your header and footer in different ways. So I'm going to click on my home tab and go to center. I can flash right or I can flash left. I can also change the color of the header or increase it in font size or from the home tab. Now if I want to get back to the header and footer uh, it, because I want additional, if, additional header and footer parts here, I would just simply click on the header and footer toolbar and it will take me back to the ribbon for the header and footer. Now I'm going to go to the footer. So I'm going to click on go to footer and now I'm going to go to footer and here again you can see there are already pre-formatted footers that I could possibly use however I don't want to use that I want to edit the footer on my own so now I want to add a page number to the footer when I go to page number, I have the options of it being at the top of the page, at the bottom of the page, in the page margin, or in its current position. And for this particular demonstration, I am going to use a one of the formats that I already um, 
available for me in Microsoft Word. And you'll see that that particular format for page number at the bottom has already been applied to my document. Now I'm going to click on the header and footer tool tab and I'm going to close it out. 